Chapter 10 The New Tablets of Stone At that time, Yahweh said to me, Cut two tablets of stone like the first, and come up to me onto the mountain, and make an ark of wood. I will write on the tables the words that were on the first tables, which you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. So I made an ark of acacia wood, and cut two tables of stone, like the first, and went up onto the mountain, having the two tables in my hand. He wrote on the tables, according to the first writing, the Ten Commandments, which Yahweh spoke to you on the mountain out of the midst of the fire, in the day of the assembly. And Yahweh gave them to me. I turned and came down from the mountain, and put the tables in the ark which I had made. And there they are, as Yahweh commanded me. The children of Israel traveled from Beeroth Bene Jeachin to Mozirah. There Aaron died, and there he was buried. And Eleazar his son ministered in the priest's office in his place. From there they traveled to Gadgoda, and from Gadgoda to Jadbatha, a land of brooks of water. At that time, Yahweh set apart the tribe of Levi to bear the ark of the covenant of Yahweh, to stand before Yahweh to minister to him, and to bless in his name to this day. Therefore Levi has no portion nor inheritance with his brothers. Yahweh is his inheritance, according as Yahweh your God spoke to him. I stayed on the mountain as at the first time, Forty days and forty nights, and Yahweh listened to me that time also. Yahweh would not destroy you. Yahweh said to me, Arise, take your journey before the people, and they shall go in and possess the land, which I swore to their fathers to give to them. A Call to Obedience Now Israel, what does Yahweh your God require of you but to fear Yahweh your God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve Yahweh your God with all your heart and with all your soul, to keep the commandments of Yahweh and his statutes, which I command you this day for your good? Behold, to Yahweh your God belongs heaven and the heaven of heavens, the earth with all that is therein. Only Yahweh had a delight in your fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even you above all peoples, as at this day. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff-necked. For Yahweh your God, he is God of gods, and Lord of lords, the great God, the mighty, and the awesome, who doesn't respect persons, nor takes reward. He does execute justice for the fatherless and widow, and loves the foreigner, in giving him food and clothing. Therefore, love the foreigner, for you were foreigners in the land of Egypt. You shall fear Yahweh your God, you shall serve him, and you shall cling to him, and you shall swear by his name. He is your praise, and he is your God, who has done for you these great and awesome things, which your eyes have seen. Your fathers went down into Egypt with seventy persons, and now Yahweh your God has made you as the stars of the sky for multitude.